Hey everybody, welcome to another Adobe After Effects CS6 tutorial from the new Boston. My name is Buddy Blackford. Today we're going to be talking about the composition panel and I'll explain to you what the different buttons on it do. The composition panel is right here in the middle. It's one of your main viewers and you'll be using it all the time so it's good to know what all the buttons do. So before I start the tutorial I wanted to share with you something that happened to me this morning. I uh, help out at a farm in the mornings and we gotta wake up at 4.30 in the morning to feed cows. So um, when I was I was up but like barely awake like a walking zombie or whatever and I was just walking through checking stuff out and um, one of the cows I walked behind just uh, decided to have a bowel movement and it was like a, a waterfall or something it was gross and I had a hoodie on and I was right behind him not paying attention and it went straight into my hoodie pocket and like came out the side of the other side of the pocket and was disgusting as hell and almost made me barf um, needless to say I don't own that hoodie anymore it went straight into the trash and luckily it warmed up I didn't have to uh, like I wasn't cold anymore it's uh, a little cold up here sometimes right now it's pouring pouring rain so just thought, thought I'd share that with you my little uh, misfortune of bad luck today hopefully the rest of the day goes better I took a nice nap after that though it was pretty good so let's get back to the composition panel um, we'll start up here on the little drop down menu here um, let's see, we drop it down. You can create a, a new comp viewer. Um, see, that just makes it a, a new one. And it automatically comes locked. <clears throat> let's uh, reset this. I don't want that comp viewer to be there anymore. Workspace, reset. Yep. Alright. And um, you can switch between your different uh, comp viewers here they just uh, go through the comps that you already have in your project panel you can lock the viewer that it doesn't mean you can't move it around all that means is that uh, when you open up a new one it's gonna open it up in a new uh, new uh, window so I could have just clicked X last time to get rid of it instead of resetting my workspace but and if you unlock it you can just go back and forth between uh, different uh, compositions instead of opening up a new window so down here is the always preview this view button and uh, at some point we'll get to use these buttons more often and then you'll use them throughout there's a couple that you always use this is the uh, basically the view the size of your view so if we go to fit it'll put it to whatever view your cop is uh, composition screen is depending on how big your screen is and how big you have the uh, the comp set so if I drag this all the way down let's put it at like 6.25 or whatever and then I hit fit it'll just fit it right to it so let's bring this back up it's going to fit and it just automatically sizes it when you have it on there um, this this button here brings up your uh, grids and stuff so you get the title and action safe and if you don't know what that is the title safe uh, for television is here and any words that you put down like anything like if you're making scrolling text for credits or something like that you, you must keep them inside these this is the action safe where any video footage um, that it's, this is where it's going to end and this is the invisible area on the end here you can also bring up uh, a grid or and then other kind of grids too you got your rulers you can uh, it, it's kind of like uh, the Photoshop rulers and stuff and most of the time you'll just keep keep all those off and now the next one here is the uh, toggle mask and shape path visibility we have here the current time down here in your timeline so if I move this it's going to change let's go back to where we were and then the next one is the take the snapshot button so say your client wants you to see what you have done 
you can take a snapshot and or if you want to try different effects and your uh, client wants to see them real quick to see how it looks like if you're color correcting then you can take a snapshot real quick this is the show snapshot button the next one is the show channel and color management button as you can see here so you can check out your alpha this has no alpha I'll explain what an alpha is at a later date this is your resolution cut in half and uh, or to a third or something sometimes if you have a lot uh, of effects going on it bogs down your computer so you can cut the resolution in half and you'll be able to render more and your computer won't go so slow when when you're trying to scrub through the timeline and everything this is uh, called the region of interest button so you click on it and it lets you draw out like a square and uh, then only that section will render so maybe you're just trying to change the color of this sign here and you keep on messing with it but you don't want to waste time rendering all the other stuff you just want to see what the sign looks like every time you use the region of interest button click on it again to take it off this is the toggle transparency and what that does, um, it won't work if you have all footage around. If, if the whole thing is covered, it won't work. So let me take off the uh, um, the uh, visibility of this footage real quick. And I can click on the toggle visibility, and then you can see what is going to be transparent what, or what nothing is there. So let's put this back on. This is the camera three camera views so um, you can control your cameras um, when you're in a 3d view I don't have anything 3d on right now and so at some point we'll use that because After Effects uses tons of 3d space um, the next one is select layouts and you can change how you look at different things so like maybe um, <clears throat> one view can be from the left one one view can be from the right and then that way you can see different different sides at the same time it's useful for working in 3d space this button here is the toggle pixel aspect ratio correction the next button here is the fast previews menu so it brings up a small menu here also good for 3d stuff this is the bring timeline forward button. This here is the comp flowchart button. And these two buttons here are for exposure. So this one resets and this one adjusts exposure. And then you have your options panel up here, which is on all the, uh, this is on, there's a, an options panel on every single one of these, but they're all pretty much the same. So no need to go over it again. And uh, th that's pretty much it for the uh, composition panel. We'll hope to see in the next tutorial we'll, we can discuss the timeline panel down here. So keep on watching. Have a good day, everybody.